guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber. Today I'm going to do a library wrap-up kind of thing for the month. So the first book I'm going to talk about is Under Rose Tainted Sky Skies by Louise Gordahl. This one is about a girl who suffers from OCD, depression, anxiety. She has a whole clusterfuck of mental illnesses going on and she falls in love with the boy next door. So it's got, you know, the cutesy little contemporary romance that's a little predictable at times, but I'll take it. Uh, if, if this stuff is like a trigger for you, I recommend not reading it. Um, but um, there are some really dark, dark places that this book goes, um, as well as some beautiful places. I think I gave it 4.5 stars. I didn't like the fact that she needed a boy to kind of like trigger wanting to get better kind of thing. It is a beautiful book that deals with mental illness and I think it puts it in a really like approachable way. Like you feel like you're in Nora's head at a lot of the points in the book. The book was really good. I really enjoyed it. So if you like books that touch base with mental illness and are really good and will probably make you cry a little bit, this is, this is a good one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so the next book, and the reason why I'm a little, I'm a little uh, cloudy, is because I just finished this. I just finished History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. So this book is about a boy who is in love with another boy. Um, so Theo is Griffin's ex-boyfriend, and he moves away to California and then dies. So the story is told in two parts. It is told in today, in the present day, when um, Griffin is going through all the grieving process of losing Theo. Then it's told in the history part, in the past tense, when Theo was still alive. It is a beautiful, beautiful book. I cried, I laughed. I cannot wait to read his newest book. I just can't wait. It's, it's gonna be good. I, I just... I'm excited. I'm so excited. But yeah, this was beautiful. These two, they hit me in the feels, you guys. They hit me in the feels. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Goodbye, guys. I hope you have a good one, and I will see you guys soon, hopefully. Love ya. Bye. You peace. I'm out. I don't know if I did. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Bye. Um, so, hi guys. Um, it is Izzy from the future. Um, you just watched my library haul, which, by the way, was the only two books that I read this month well, finished this month, um, this past month in September. I didn't not read, but as you guys knew, I was going on vacation, so I didn't expect a lot of reading to get done because when I'm on vacation, I'm all about being on vacation. So here's what I did end up reading as well as those two library books that I actually did finish. So I have also been reading The Dark Tower. I picked that up before I left and I am, I took this with me on vacation, but I didn't expect to get to it. Um, I'm over halfway. I'm a little over halfway and um, it's pretty good so far. I don't know how I feel about it 100%. I'm just going to wait to the end to form my full opinion. The absolutely fantastic, wonderful good news. Okay. No, I didn't finish it. It didn't happen yet. It's, it's gonna be a few months. Okay, so as you guys know, if you if you watch my channel at all, this has been daunting and it's been, ugh, I'm just so ready for it to be over, but I can't stop reading it because I'm invested now. I switched to audiobook recently, and while I'm on vacation, I was taking boats, trains, buses, cars. <laughs> I was all over the place. So um, I was at planes, I was taking all forms of transportation. So this is how far I made it, look at that. I only have this much to go. How cool is that? I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. So this is how much I read slash listened to on vacation, which is a lot considering, you know, I don't really read much on vacation. Okay, so that's it. That is my wrap up for September. I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Goodbye. I love you guys. Have a good one. I am going to go do things. You know Mortal Kombat at the end of like when you're about ready to kill someone and you get to the end and the person is just like and it's like finish him. That's me. That's me like all day today. I'm just like no. 90s. 90s pop culture reference. No. No. Okay.